Hello everybody, my name is Jose Pablo Folch. I am a PhD student at Imperial College, collaborating with BASF, and I will be presenting recent work in combining multi-fidelity modeling and asynchronous patch basing optimization. The contents of this talk include an introduction. I talk about how we can uh, model multi-fidelity using multitask Gaussian processes. I will then talk about multi-fidelity and asynchronous patch basing optimization. Finally, I will talk about combining both areas and give exper empirical results and conclusions. So basic optimization is this area of machine learning that seeks to efficiently optimize expensive black box function. And we do this by querying the function at different locations. There is no gradient information and we want to be as time efficient as possible. So we want very few iterations. This is usually done by fitting a probabilistic model to the data, usually a Gaussian process. And this represents our belief and our certainty of how the function looks like. Using this probabilistic model, we build an acquisition function, which can be, then be maximized and it chooses the next point that we want to query. When we talk about multi-fidelity, we are talking about the setting where we have different data. And usually what, so some of the data is cheap and easy to obtain. However, it's less accurate and or an approximation of the target. And high fidelity is more expensive and time consuming. However, it might be the target of the optimization or just be more accurate. We are trying to figure out in this case we are when we, are, we can actively choose between both fidelity. So we might when we design an experiment, we can choose it for the experiment to be low fidelity and cheap, or we can choose for the experiment to be more expensive. Asynchronous patch based optimization uh, refers to the setting where we can run multiple experiments in parallel, and so we end up choosing more than one experiment designed per time step. However, the results may return at different and even uncertain time frames because of the nature of this low and high fidelity. So low fidelity experiments may be very quick, while high fidelity experiments may take much longer. The motivating example behind this research, we will, we will be using battery de development. In mat battery materials research, we usually have research, we usually have the goal of designing electro materials for optimal performance in pou pouch cells. However, these experiments might be very expensive, so we can approximate their behavior by using cheaper coin cells and shorter tests. To model this multi-fidelity setting, we will be using multitask Gaussian processes. So multitask or multi-output Gaussian processes uh, are, are Gaussian processes where the outputs are higher dimensional, and each fidelity will be modeled by a different output. We will be focusing on separable kernels and the linear model of co-originalization. They are called separable kernels because the kernel itself is a product of two separate kernels. On, in red, we can see the kernel that targets the similarity between the inputs or the experiment design. And in blue, we can see the kernel that targets the similarity between fidelities. So in this case, we're trying to measure similarity between an experiment X at fidelity M and an experiment X dash at fidelity M dash. We do know that since there is a discrete finite number of fidelities, the kernel can be represented by a matrix of values. And so if in, in the lower equation, we see a sum of such kernels where we can choose our input kernels to be anything we want, and then we have matrices representing uh, the task or fidelity dependencies. We no will now go through the, some of the literature in multi-fidelity and asynchronous batch-based optimization. For multi-fidelity based optimization, we will be looking at two main methods. First, multi-fidelity upper confidence bound, and second, multi-fidelity max entropy search. Multi-fidelity upper confidence bound refers to a method introduced in 2016, where we build an upper confidence bound for each individual fidelity, and we then combine all the upper confidence bound into a tightest possible bound, and this is our acquisition function. We do note that originally this method did not require a multitask Gaussian process. However, we have empirically shown that it significantly improves performance. However, our main takeaway from this model is simply the way they, do, they chose the fidelity. So they begin by choosing the, the lowest possible fidelity, and they query it until the insert model uncertainty at that fidelity is very low, and then they move on to the next fidelity, and they repeat this process over and over until they are the target fidelity. We do note that this um, way of choosing the fidelity is completely independent of how the experiment was chosen. You first choose an experiment, and you then choose which fidelity to, to query at. The second method we're looking at is multi-fidelity max entropy search. Here we are using an, an information argument instead. Uh, this was an acquisition function proposed in 2020. And we are choosing the experiment that maximizes the information gain about the function's optimum value. And then we weight this information by the cost of evaluating that at fidelity. 
we gotta remember that usually this cost is lower for for is is low for low fidelities and higher for high fidelities. However, we want to know that this acquisition function can also be turned into a way of choosing the fidelity independently of how the experiment is chosen, and that is simply that once the experiment has been chosen, we evaluate the acquisition function for each different fidelity, and we simply choose the highest value, and that's the fidelity we, we can query at. We will now be looking at asynchronous batch based optimization methods, in particular at Thompson sampling, at parallel querying through fantasies, and at local penalization. Thompson sampling simply uses the Gaussian processes uh, own randomness to create batch diversity. In particular, we sample from the Gaussian process and then we optimize that sample to create to select our next point. We can sample a function because a Gaussian process is a probabilistic model over functions. And then all experiments, because of how it's done, all experiments are independent of one another and so the method works asynchronously. Uh, we do note that if you use this method, uh, it's acquisition function free because the acquisition functions can be thought of as the samples themselves. For the second um, method, we are talking about fantasizing. We will be looking at fantasizing. Uh, here the idea is that if we could, we would marginalize out depending observations uh, using the, the integral uh, on the top line. However, this is very commonly inter intractable. However, since we have a Gaussian process, we can take samples from it and use them as fake observations or fantasies and then take an average and this approximates the intractable integral. And this can be done with any acquisition function. Finally, we will be looking at local penalization. Here we will be using uh, multi multiplicative penalizers around depending observations to artificially reduce the value of the acquisition function. This has been shown to work very well in practice. All right, now that everything's set up, we can talk about combining them. And it's a very simple idea. The way we propose that we can combine everything is by first choosing an, any acquisition function, an acquisition function of choice. We then choose a fidelity criteria, so one way of choosing how the fidelities are chosen. And finally, we choose one method for batching. Uh, this can be Thompson sampling, in which case we don't choose an acquisition function or instead we can do fantasizing or local penalization. And the only requirement that we that we set is that whenever we're optimizing acquisition function, we do this at the target fidelity, because that's the function that we want to optimize. The benefits of this proposed approach are that by using a, any acquisition function, we can use specialist knowledge and take full advantage of prior knowledge and create more efficient optimization loops. And also it allows for simple and interpretable acquisition functions to be used which many practitioners may feel more comfortable and they may prefer using. So uh, now I will show a few results and conclusions. To highlight the benefits of our approach, we use a high dimensional example. So this is a plot of the regret against the number of iterations for uh, a 40 dimensional ACLI function. Uh, Turbo is a based optimization method that specializes in high dimensions by considering local trust regions. This helps because it avoids the over-exploration of the area that's usually um, that's a, a problem in basic optimization. And we show that by using the specialist acquisition function in conjunction with multi-fidelity and batching, we significantly improve performance. In particular, we focus on the yellow lines. Here, Turbo is clearly the best performer by, by, by a significant margin. If you were not, if you were to use uh, state-of-the-art um, batching multi-fidelity methods, such as multi-fidelity max entropy search, you can see that you still obtain good performance, but by not using a specialist acquisition function, the performance is much worse. We also evaluated our results on a, uh, our method on a real-world battery dataset provided by BASF to carry out the experiment. We fit the Gaussian process to the data. And then we took one sample from it to create the higher fidelity and another sample to create the lower fidelity. In this case, the optimization was very constrained, so we could only evaluate a few methods on it. However, we can see that the top three best performing methods, that is the upper confidence bounds using multitask uh, Gaussian processes and the upper confidence bound without the multitask Gaussian processes, however, using local penalization, those three are the best performers by a, by a clear margin, emphasizing that we really should be using this multi-fidelity when possible and this um, batching when possible because it, it really improves performance by a significant margin. We also carried out a little uh, 
comparison between using the, the UCB or variance-based fidelity choice and the information-based fidelity choice. Uh, in the last example, the information-based performed better, and we can see that it, this is because the low fidelity is actually very informative, and the information-based fidelity managed to catch this and queries the lower fidelity a lot more than the variance-based. So in conclusion, we have explored methods in multi-fidelity and batch-based optimization, and we show how we can leverage advances in the literature to propose a very simple algorithm that can use any acquisition function. If you're more interested in more details, please read the paper or feel free to contact me at the email shown in the screen. Thank you very much for your attention.